Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Griddle Guys. Love you guys, Griddle Nation. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna make homemade gyros. Gyro. Gyro, gyro. Gyros, I'm not, I don't gyroscope. Know, I don't know what the right way to call it is. I call it a gyro. If I was from Greece, maybe I'd call it a gyro. You guys can tell us. Pretty straightforward. I took Chef John's recipe and somewhat modified it to my liking. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna run through the ingredients here pretty quickly. Shout out to Jeff, Chef John. Shout out to Chef John. Chef John's awesome. <laughs> I, I am gonna type, I know a lot of the time we don't put the recipes in the description. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description so you don't have to worry about you know remembering exactly what's in here. But basically we're going equal parts, 80, 20, sorry, 85, 15, ground chuck and ground lamb, salt, pepper, naturally always. So we have some cumin, some oregano, a little bit of crushed red pepper, a lot of paprika, and cinnamon. Other than that, we have a medium-sized white onion, and I'm doing a pound of lamb, pound of beef. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, I'm gonna do about five fresh garlic cloves in that. You can go more if you want. I would say you don't wanna go too much less. So like, you can maybe do four, but I find if you go down, like, down to three, it's just not enough garlic. So with that, Give us a minute, we're gonna get started. Well, you, you touched on the garlic. For the record, somebody commented on the video where we were pressing the garlic. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, you could just throw the whole clove in there with the skin on and it will just push through. Tried that. Oh really? It didn't work. <laughs> and it actually exploded back on me, hit my face and hit the ceiling. <laughs> I had garlic stuck to the ceiling in the nice. lights because the whole nice. thing just popped. Are you kidding me? So I need you. Make sure you take the skin off the garlic. Or the <laughs> rind. Don't believe what people tell you online. I need you to look up uh, comments on my one of my last videos, the Asian the chop suey video. Yep. Somebody commented on my light. Oh They're yeah. Like, Everybody. You, yeah, Nate, your light's been out for weeks now. <laughs> so my I did reply. I said, listen, I'm gonna swap it this week. For the record, I have tomorrow and Saturday because today's only Thursday. I'll get it swapped. Nice. Sure you will. All right, let's get to cooking. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. <clears throat> so, first thing we're gonna do is we gotta make onion soup, kind of, right? So I got one, two, three, four, five garlic cloves going in the food processor. Don't double check that, Chris. And we're gonna chunk up one medium white onion so it fits in the food processor, because we're gonna process this to basically onion juice. Yeah. And that's kind of gonna not be- gonna Puree it, is that what you say? Puree Another criticism. criticism. Yeah, you puree it. Puree, oh, how, do, how do you say it? Puree, am I saying it right? Puree. Puree, you gotta puree. puree it. All right, so let me run that. And this you do have to scrape down a couple times, or maybe at least once. To puree it? To pu no, <laughs> not puree, to puree it. So now that we have a nice onion garlic soupy paste that can sit there. This guy, th guys, this does take a little bit of time. So, I mean, I'll cut to the chase. You're gonna wanna make your gyro meat like the day before, right? Cause to do it all at once is just too much work. So you're gonna wanna make it like the day before, chill it in the fridge. Um, yeah, you just don't have the time, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. So we're gonna get this all mixed up in season. Then we're gonna bake it for an hour. And then you gotta let it cool cause if you don't let it cool, it's gonna crumble apart on your griddle. So this is like a good one for a make ahead. All right, so I got the lamb and the beef in there. And I like to kinda not, together. not have them stacked on top of each other, just cause it makes it easier to distribute the seasonings. Right, you don't get like a pile of seasonings just in the middle. All right, so you can help me here, Chris. I'm gonna start. Why don't you just throw it in the food processor and mix it all up that way? I thought of doing that. Why not? But and you I, put your seasons all in and mix it all up. I don't have any Done. logical reason for why I didn't do that. Can uh, you push over? <laughs> space too. I don't have a logical reason for why I didn't do that, but I did think of it. I don't think you could do two pounds in that that processor. No, he meant the seasoning and the onion, right? I meant everything. Put it all. Oh in. yeah, that won't fit in there. Um, so what's up first? So we have oregano. We're going. Two strong, maybe three tablespoons. I try to do this whole recipe with um, a tablespoon, just a single tablespoon. What are you laughing at, Jeff? Well, there's a delay, that's what she said, but then I just saw Chris, I think he threw half that oregano across the counter. No, I didn't. <laughs> I kept it all in, Jeff. The reason I'm having him do this is because I'm left-handed and I can't get an even <laughs> sprinkle. All right, so like I said, two strong. 
Nothing, dude. Put Nothing. A, put another one there. Next up, we got the cumin. So cumin, we're gonna do one strong tablespoon. Now paprika. What do I get there for paprika? One. So we're gonna do like two and a half tablespoons of the paprika. Because this is just plain smoked paprika. It's pretty mild. You want the meat to essentially come out almost a slight bit like over seasoned because you're gonna mix this in the gyro. You got the tzatziki sauce. You have all the vegetables. It's a lot of spice, I like this. Right. It's a very heavily seasoned meat. You're gonna put a lot of seasoning on lamb to make it taste good. That's what that's what I'm hearing. Yes? O only for you. I'm so kidding. like I said, too strong, and then I'm gonna go <laughs> a little extra. All right. I'm so now the cinnamon. The cinnamon, go light, right? You this don't, one throws me off, yeah. You don't wanna taste cinnamon. It just kinda gives you a little bit more complexity where you eat it and you go, can't really figure out what that is. So you can move your chubby uh, hand there. Chubby. Whoa. Just in there. Chubby. Whoa. Just. Jeez. Where, where was that? Just a dusting of uh, cinnamon. And so then I like to mix it. Oh, I need salt and pepper. You could, you, now you can come back. No, I quit. All right, Jeff, you come back. <laughs> uh, come on, I need a couple tablespoons of salt, please. <laughs> so last time I did three full make tablespoons. Make sure you get a double chin over here. I'm gonna do two and a half. This I was gonna time. try and block you with the light, but you're not tall enough. How about now? Ew, perfect. All right, do perfect. that one. By the way, you are doing a good job sprinkling it. Evenly. Oh, thank you, boss. <laughs> Am I shorter than you? Or yes, you are. We're gonna have to. So that's two and a half tablespoons. We'll do it back to back if you want. By the way, this is a uh, sea salt. If you go with regular table salt, I would use less. And then to your taste, crushed red pepper. I don't well, want it to be spicy because typically when you get a gyro, it's not like, it's not spicy. Can be. It can be. I don't need that. We're just gonna do. We can get some cayenne pepper in there if you want. We could. But then I feel like it really wouldn't be a gyro. Don't you think? Mm, I don't know. I've never had a spicy gyro. Maybe I would like that. So yes, definitely a lot of seasoning. Did I get everything? I think I did, right? Here's the mint jelly. You don't put, no, you put that oh, tiki. I thought that, tiki. I thought that goes with lamb. All right, so now I like to get in here and start to combine the Break seasoning. Crumbs. Those are coming after. <clears throat> Can you do me a favor and grab that off the uh, crock, uh, off the food processor? Yeah, I can dump go. it in. So here's where the onion soup, the onion soup kind of adds moisture. You can see this mixture is pretty tight right now. Good, you pull it off and dump it in. <laughs> He's catching on now. So this is gonna add a lot of liquid, which is where the breadcrumbs come in, Chris. So we got all the onions, the garlic, the seasoning, and you're gonna wanna mix this for a solid couple of minutes to make sure the seasoning is evenly distributed. And then Chris, if you don't mind, can you do a third of a cup of breadcrumbs in a minute? Yep. It's very unlike Chris to use a measuring cup for anything. I've no, yeah, you're right, Jeff. How do you hold well, this thing? I'm trying to make this a repeatable recipe. Yeah, the whole thing. You want to roll it? Yep. You want to mix a little bit and then we'll throw more in? No, you can dump it all in. It is eight by eight. Can you spray that with Pam? It's in the corner cabinet on the right. I didn't see Pam, where is she? So this is gonna tighten up a lot, guys, and you really wanna, you really wanna overwork this. What we're looking for here is a really tight meatloaf. See how sticky this is getting? Yeah, I guess so. So normally you don't wanna overwork your meat, or maybe you do, <laughs> but <laughs> get that off of me. In this case, we definitely want to overwork it. Nate's beating the meat. He's number there. one. He's number one in the other grill, guys, beating the meat. He's massaging, massaging. So at this point, pack this in as tight as you can. And this is going to go in a 325 degree oven. Children. Four. It's like working with children. I agree. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> So you want to get any air pockets out of it, right? I, I know you're dying to say something. So the videos I watched, Nate, actually they were in almost like a a, a bread uh, thing. I was so, so they made a big, to see they made which a big direction thing. you were going with this. No, 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 no. They put they packed it into what are those things called? Like a bread, uh, uh, a bread a pan. loaf pan, a loaf uh, pan, a puree pan, a loaf pan. So when you slice it up afterwards, you have these nice big slices versus this is what you have here. That's all. It was, it was kind of like your meatloaf, Jeff, that you did. Which, this is kind of meatloaf, right? Yeah. So, 
No. <laughs> I like to leave a little, like, depress the middle a little bit because it, whatever, for whatever, whatever reason, it swells up in the middle. So that's it, 325 degree oven. Pull it open for me, Chris. Middle rack, takes about one hour. You're gonna wanna pull that at uh, 165 degrees internal temp. And then done. Get out. No, then not done. Then we move to the griddle. <laughs> All right, so through the magic of uh, television editing, it's actually still in the oven, but I did cook this oh, one using the same recipe away, oh, yesterday. You're supposed to pull that out. I gotta tell them that they have to chill it in the fridge for many hours, right? You so. You could say we didn't film that, we just chilled it for an hour. More than an hour, but <laughs> yeah, so you gotta take it out of the oven when it hits 165 and then chuck it in the fridge. And that's why I was saying earlier, like, you probably wanna start this the day before, right? But from this point forward, you're gonna have delicious gyros in like 10 minutes, not even. Yeah. So. Or you can make it at the beginning of the week and have sandwiches all week. You can right. freeze it too after you cook it. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do with the one that's in the oven, Chris. That's yeah, gonna get good call. frozen. You can slice this as thick or as thin as you want. You know. And I think you can pull it at 160. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Cause you're going back on the grill. I'm gonna go about, I don't know, Jeff, what would you say that is? Uh, eighth eighth inch? inch? Yeah, eighth inch. Look at Chris, he had his back turned and he wow. even nailed it. He's good. <laughs> it's pretty good, Chris. <laughs> so we're gonna go about an eighth inch. Just pile up as much as you want. Jeff is not gonna necessarily be partaking and tasting this because he's sticking to his diet. So Chris, it's really just how much you want on your gyro. Like Lily, that right there is perfect. Okay. I, I wouldn't want more than that, but you make one for yourself too, right? Yeah, so that'll be yours. And I don't even think you mind. have to just do a gyro. You can put this on a salad if you want, which I'm sure you're gonna do this week. I was eating it cold with mustard and onion. I loved it, it was that's delicious. Uh, holding up really well. So that's because of over-processing it. You know how uh, yeah. when we work the meat, yeah. you know, you can see how dense yeah, it, it is in there. Good. Even flexing it, it's not breaking, you know. You didn't put an egg in that, right? Did not put an egg in it. So yeah, we have Chris's gyro, my gyro, and like I said, the Stonefire non-original. Good stuff. The non-garlic. So Jeff, you're up. You gotta grill this, sear it off, get a little color on it. Chris and I will start making our, uh, our toppings. Toppings. Can you overcook it? You can overcook it, you can dry it out. All we're looking to do is brown it. Just brown yes, it. Just brown right. it. Done. That's it. Don't, how, how hot is that, Jeff? We'll find Don't, out, Come Chris. on, seriously, can you mess that up? Don't smoke a cigar while you're doing it. Just get it, get it browned. Don't burn it. We'll find out. <laughs> it's like literally three minutes aside. It's not that difficult. It's not drinking, really. Really? <laughs> I know, I I think he's a little lightheaded from uh, lack of calories. Yeah. Just color, but just trying to get color and warm it up, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you can get it a little crusty on the edges, Jeff. You know, crust, crusty's good. So I don't know if you guys remember the last time we actually had these was at the top of Jericho Mountain. That, that was awesome. Do you remember that? That I was do. amazing. And uh, I do. If, what I remember about that, Chris, was we learned a lesson to not put the griddle on the front of the ATV and drive eight miles through the woods because it gets really dirty. Yes, oh my especially God. when Jeff is so faking bad. his tires in front of you. <laughs> yes. Because I yes. actually watched some of the video recently, but um, we do want to tell you, you should go watch that video. Take a second because it was a fun video. The what top of it? a mountain, we cooked, we cooked gyros. That's that was a blast. two years ago. I, uh, it is the, actually I'll two years ago over. almost this it, week. I think it was three years ago. Three years ago. Before COVID. Yeah. I think it was 2019. I don't know, Jeff. Based on how you look, I think it was six years ago. Have we been doing this this long? We've been doing it four years, bud. Wow. Yeah. You guys need to share this with your friends and get them to subscribe <laughs> because this is uh, we, we way should, too much effort. We should have 100,000 subs by now. We should have a million. Come four years, really? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's wow. four years of joy and happiness. Yes, of course. Oh yeah, that's the color. You got it right there, Jeff. That's, That's perfect. I love how this is staying together, Nate. Nice job. Mm -hmm. I, I almost don't want to say this because I know Chris is going to have a comment, but that's from overworking your meat. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's used to it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing right there. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that was what, maybe two minutes? Not even. Not even. So oh, I would do a minute I would too. do a minute this side, and then yeah. we're done. Yeah. Take it off. You smell that? It smells great. If you like oregano and cumin, I mean, those are great. That's a great mix just right there. Yeah. Plus the garlic. Plus the garlic. the garlic. Oh, yeah. I've really been thinking about your spicy version of this because that. I know. That, that would take it up really a notch. good. 
because we should have done it'll we should have done half. Cut through the tzatziki like <laughs> yeah. a little bit, right? Yeah. I guess we could add to the tzatziki sauce. Yeah, you always, for a spicy one if we wanted to. You could always just throw jalapenos on it too. Yeah, or just Tabasco. No. But I'm just thinking flavor wise, like through the tzatziki. Mm -hmm. like, Dude, you're not even eating, skinny guy. So I'm gonna have some. We don't want to hear from just, you. I'm not having it tonight. Jeez. He's already thinking about his breakfast with eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's already thinking about it. You uh, go a little crustier, Jeff. I don't know. I, I like the way that looks, dude. That looks good. Remember, you got a lot of toppings, so a little little crustification, little crunch is okay. Yeah. Can I see that backside of the one you just had? The one you just pulled off? Yeah, it's still oh, a little light. Still right. a little, still a little light. light. Crank it up. Go high. Go high with the griddle? Yeah. This is a camp chef. You can't do that. I'm, I'm, all right. This thing gets super hot. Like. I know we've said it a lot. Big Jeff. props to Camp Chef. Yeah, Jeff, I, I got to adjust the camera. I think you just got shorter somehow. Weird. We did measure <laughs> back to back. Because <laughs> these, these two idiots were arguing over who's taller. No, we weren't arguing. He was arguing. Oh, you're right, right. <laughs> I wasn't arguing. I already know how tall I am. I wasn't arguing either. I was... I'm one inch shorter than last year. <laughs> yeah, see the edges here? How the yeah. edges like that? Yeah. That's, that, that tastes really good on a sandwich. Although, whatever you call it. Wrap, gyro, Greek wrap, euro. You, call, you don't call it a euro. No, I don't. I don't know. So this goes back to what I was saying. Like once you get to this step, the cutting it and putting it on here, you can cook a thousand of these in ten minutes. Yeah. And you, know? you can fit a lot of it on the blackstone all yeah. at once. Yeah. yeah. That's our food trailer. Mm-hmm. That's right. a good point. You want to pull it and go eat? Well, not you, but Chris and I can go eat. You can put one up to the camera show. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. All right, let me get the toppings out on the inside. I did not keep these separate size-wise, pile-wise for the sandwich. I think we're okay. Don't worry about it. Are you guys going to be able to figure it out? I think you have eight slices. I think four and four. How good is my math? No, there's five and four. All there's right. nine slices. No, we'll give Nate the fifth one, okay? <laughs> this is getting confusing. Yeah. just want to give these a little toast in the... Uh... Warm them up. Warm them up. Nice. We're going high with that? Yeah, you can watch them. I trust you to maybe not burn them. Yeah. Careful with that knife, Nate. What are we, what's the knife? What, you what? needed that knife to open up that package, really? What knife? What are you, what are you talking <laughs> What are you talking Why do you need that? That's like uh, Freddy Krueger's knife. Why do you need that knife to open up? That's why, my go-to. I use I use the 10 inch for everything. <laughs> That's what, oh God. You got a uh, too easy layup. I thought you were putting the fixings together. You were cutting up some tomatoes, some, wait, hold on, I gotta, now that you're with short Jeff, I gotta raise this up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I got you. I don't think I'm cutting your head he's off not, right now. He's almost. He's almost there. He's on his tippy toes. He's getting there. Go. I've been called worse. <laughs> All right. This is it. Look, delicious. I'm digging it. We're going to assemble now. Like I said, if you do the pre-work the day before and you let the meat cool down, like you can make a lot of this real quick. So tzatziki sauce. I like a lot of it. I don't know, between you and me, I spread it to the whole end just because I don't like to get a bite without tzatziki, so what I like, like spreading cheese on a pizza. What I like about this is Nate said, I will close it for you, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna build mine and he's gonna close it for me. Definitely I don't a temptation worry about to it. overstuff here, right? So classic toppings, red onion, tomato, lettuce. I did put feta out. What, uh, what about the uh, tzatziki? How'd you make that? How do they find out? So we're gonna do, at the end of the video, we'll try to link to the end card, but it's um, full fat yogurt, the uh, Greek yogurt. Shredded, strained, squeezed cucumber, and um, garlic. So I think we did it in another video. Very basic recipe, but very delicious. And uh, we'll link to that, well, we'll put it as an end card. So yeah. if you stick around to the end of the video, just click on the end card. That looks delicious, Chris. I can't wait to see how you close it though. Well, you know, every time you buy one of these, they don't technically close it. Well, That's why they, they have the foil. Do. I mean, I could probably do it, but I've never, you know, I don't know. That's what the foil's for. I think I might be even stuffing mine more than you did yours. I'm gonna need a little more lettuce. I thought you were doing a salt day lettuce wrap. I can do that, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, that would probably make it. That would probably make a mess if I did it because I'm so much taller than you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you are wicked dough to come from the sky. <laughs> Hey, license says right. 510. I think we're good. I think we're good to close. All right, I want to see the uh, science. I'm going to do a little more ideas too. Yes. Nate, you got me. You got me. All right, go. Those look awesome. <laughs> 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 is 
So you know what's funny, Chris, is I was gonna close it this way, but you built it that way. No, he built it both ways. He, he built did. it both ways, yeah. He started this way and then he moved to that way. Yeah. Like, all right, who knows what we're closing now. I just wanna watch it. I wanna watch him close it. I'm screwed now. Can't see any of it, so. I can't see any of it. Dude, get off my burned out light bulb, all right? I see it. Who asked you? All right, so we're at the wrap time. Chris has offered me quite a challenge because, he, I mean, both of us kind of got a little ambitious. I mean, look at this. It's gonna be tough to close. Thank you. Kind of a lot. More, Chris more went in every direction. I don't know. Challenge right. accepted, do it. <laughs> He's been saying that for years though. <laughs> Let's see, can we go this way? It's not being closed. <sighs> this way? I think we're going this way, Chris. Nate's always been a big fan of the structural integrity. The structural integrity. I was going to say it. You should have let me say it. I was going to say that. Of aluminum foil. Oh, look at that. Now I get to have an aluminum bite. Don't spill that. Don't let that fall out. I'm going to help you right there. Don't let that fall out. There we go. Dude, that's just... Oh! Like... oh lost the tomato. It's all done. No, no. <laughs> look at that. Just like when you order it That looks fair. pretty good. That looks pretty good. Wow. Good job, Nate. Now I gotta try and close mine. Can I get that again? I don't know, is it- That is actually it, looks pretty good. Is yeah. it odd that my gyro weighs a pound and a half? No. <laughs> Was it heavier than mine? No, I don't think so. <laughs> nice technique. Yeah, he did good, I was impressed. I think he's done this before. I got- <laughs> So you know you go to a fair and they give you it like this? That's what it looks like. I think we want to take pictures of this. I, I'm sorry, we got to take pictures oh, of this. I'm losing stuff left and I mean, right. That mine is just like a Christmas tree. It looks beautiful. I do. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> so flavor-wise, we've already <clears throat> we've already tasted the meat. We haven't tasted it in the sandwich, or the gyro. Sorry. No. It's gonna get a little messy. Kind of like 70% hamburg, 30% lamb, I guess. And it tasted really, really good. And I still like it. After it on this, I Nate cut me a piece. I tasted it. And I tasted the lamb. Huge. Rip. <laughs> huge. <laughs> huge, dude. Come on. Big, big, big. Well, I didn't taste as much, uh, you know, prior to. So I tasted it a lot. This, now it's kind of dulled down a little bit because it's got the onion and the, and the tzatziki, and it, but I still taste it, but it's really, really, it goes well together. The mix is phenomenal. Wow. That's good. That's really good, actually, Nate. So, as you can hear, we've been eating these. They're outstanding. Guys, you gotta try this one. I mean, a little bit of work, day before, or you know, morning of. But once you get the stuff cooked, like it's a slam dunk, and you can make a freaking ton of them. Did it seem so. any harder than uh, meatballs or anything? No, or meat no, yeah. not really. Yeah, not really. I mean, look at this. That's, that's awesome. That's a, the smell is in the kitchen right now. That is. Good all right. stuff. You We're know what though? You make a big batch and then you freeze it. If you, you know, you don't have to eat it all at once. So I want to do a, I want to do a giant tray for dad's yeah, house. and then freeze it. Yeah. So, so it's always there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share, share, more share, share. Force Com all your comment. Force all your friends and family to subscribe. So, sorry again for uh, some slow replies on the, the comments. We've all been doing. I've been family, keeping up. You guys know me. Family vacation they and have stuff. It. We've been carrying Chris for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's right. you know. But anyways, cheers, cheers. See you cheers. in the next video.